Hey everyone, John Cora here, marketing director for McClinton Chevrolet Mitsubishi, and we're in a brand new 2024 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross SEL. Why are we in this one today? Well, I want to test out the adaptive cruise control. I've never used it in one before, and I've had a few people request a how-to video on that also, and I need a Starbucks run too, so you're going to come along with me and we're gonna see how this feature works. All right, let's get started. All right, well, that was an adventurous trip to Starbucks to say the least, but I got my beverage here. We're getting ready to go on the interstate to head back to the dealership. Honestly, it's the way I should have came in the first place traffic is ridiculous we're here across from that new car wash that's next to the other new car wash that's down the street from the other car wash so traffic is ridiculous lots of construction going on but hey let's take the interstate back let's try out this adaptive cruise control and uh it should be a lot of fun and make your driving a lot easier especially on road trips let's go all right so we're getting ready to hit interstate 77 south no we're getting ready to hit interstate 77 north back to parkersburg we're currently in mineral wells and traffic is atrocious right now as always it's noon so you know everyone forgets how to drive but this will be my first time using this system uh, i don't have access to the same training that like sales team members do so a lot of my stuff is just i have to figure it out as i go and i'm like well might as well document it with a video here all right we got some uh, final destination logs up there not a fan of that and we are going to merge yeah traffic is just nuts right now all right we're merging and we're passing the final destination truck and we're going to get into a comfortable speed, which is what I'm doing now. All right, so we are at 70-ish miles per hour. Down here on the steering wheel, we have our cruise control settings. But let's just go ahead and push our little button here. Yeah, and now, now we're engaged with, oh, you can feel the vehicle slowing down already. So this is your adaptive cruise control and that Nissan Frontier in front of me is going very slow. And the Eclipse Cross, which was set to 75 miles per hour, has slowed down. Let's tailgate him a little bit. Let's adjust that right there. And now it's gonna, it's gonna draft him a little bit higher. You know what? He is going way too slow for me. I'm gonna go ahead and just pass him. And you can feel the engines revving back up. That 1.5 turbo is getting me back up to speed. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, it, it's not a super invasive system from what I can tell, just from the past 45 seconds of using it. But yeah, that's that's awesome. It, it's better than I expected. I wouldn't mind having this on my vehicle. And once again, we can slow down just a little bit. And let me see if I, what happens if I push that. So then that gives us our close. Okay, so like most adaptive cruise controls, there are three different levels of proximity to the car in front of you. Now this is completely different than what the Mitsubishi Outlander has now. Uh, it has Mitsubishi Connect. I'm sorry, this vehicle has Mitsubishi Connect. It has Mitsubishi My Pilot, which is the 360 degree uh, cruise control system that has got steering assist and all that. No, this is not what's available in the Eclipse Cross. It's just an adaptive cruise control, which is pretty neat. Uh, I've liked it so far and honestly, super easy to use. I've been in a lot of GM vehicles that have adaptive cruise control that's not as easy to engage. So, awesome. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool first test. Okay, gang, quick update. I actually figured out how to do the traditional cruise control while I was on the interstate. And now that I'm back parked, I wanna show you how to do that. So it's a little tricky, I'm not gonna lie, but I did test it out and it does work. Um, so you have your cruise control that I just, that button I just hit. 
That's your adaptive cruise control. Now, if you turn that back off and just hold the button, boom, there's your normal cruise control. So if you want to do it the old fashioned way without the car monitoring your, your distance to the vehicle in front of you, that's how you do it. Super simple, then you just hit set like any old vehicle back in the day and it sets the cruise. One other quick note, I was wrong on something. Uh, this vehicle actually has four settings for following distance, not three. So it gives you a little more options. You know, I think this is great to have options on uh, adaptive versus traditional because like if I'm just doing a short jaunt like I just did, I really need to get back to the dealership. Maybe I want to use just a normal cruise control. But if I'm on a long trip, that adaptive cruise control would be coming in really in, coming in, come in really handy. There we go. All right. So uh, yeah, thanks for taking that ride along with me. All right. So that was our quick drive of the adaptive cruise control in the all new 2024 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. It's available now. Uh, I will put a little uh, list down below of which trims the adaptive cruise control is available on. I doubt it's on the ES, but I'll find that out for sure and let you all know. Uh, but this all came because a, a person asked a question in our comments. So if you want to know more about the Eclipse Cross or any Mitsubishi vehicle, please don't hesitate to comment below. Uh, if you want to ask even more, give me a call, 304-422-6501. Check us out online, mcclintonmitsubishi.com. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great day.